Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to the farm. I'm in the tractor here today because, well, it's cold and blustery and kind of gross outside. And that's really what I want to talk to you about today. Today is um, today's a lack of confidence day. It actually started yesterday, but it all kind of compounded by the end of, by today. So we experienced a significant weather event yesterday. So we went from like 18 to 24 degrees Celsius. Beautiful weather. Summer's here, right? Absolutely. Things are gorgeous. To suddenly three to four degrees, uh, high, high winds, rain just going straight sideways, large volumes of rain. We've got about an inch and a inch and three quarters, almost two inches of rain in 24 hours. And had it been a degree colder, I'm pretty confident we would have just got snow. But anyways, um, it sucked. So then yesterday morning, uh, we had to go over to the in-laws with the stock trailer and load up the meat chickens that are now, I mean, they're, they, they got to get in the tractors. They just got to, otherwise we're going to lose all advantage we may have of having meat chickens on the farm as opposed to just buying it from the store. We got to get them on grass. We got to get them in the tractors. So we ran there in the morning out to Rio Grande, loaded up 44 chickens, brought them back, got them into the tractors. And I had to position the tractors in such a way because the wind was super harsh. And I'm like, man, I got to make sure these, these birds can stay out of the wind because I mean, it's just, it's brutal out here. Like literally the wind is like going right in your ear. It's like, oh man. So while I was doing that, uh, I looked across over by the barn and I saw a lamb, you know, laying inside as I could see its feet doing this. And I thought, oh, I wonder if it's rolled over. Like what's going on there? So run over there and uh, yeah, it was kind of upside down. It had been getting rained on. It was laying in the mud and was in, was in rough shape. It was in rough shape. So got it into the barn real quick. Closed the door of the stock trailer so no chickens would escape. Carmen come over, wrapped it up in her coat, brought it to the house, put an electric blanket. And yeah, I mean, no doubt this thing's raspy breathing. Like it's, it's pneumonia, right? So that's, that's tough. So throw the fridge at that thing. What is it? So penicillin, vitamin A, D, shot of selenium, everything you could possibly do pretty much. Heat blanket in a box, you know, warmed it up with a hair dryer and started to started to perk up actually so like okay well you know what we might have caught it in time and this is this is gonna go well come out do an afternoon chores go to the turkeys i'll be damned there's a dead turkey well i've heard turkeys are dumb and they'll just die for any reason but that doesn't make it any easier right so we got these 10 turkeys there's one dead well that really sucks because i mean that's 10 percent of your turkey flock just wiped out one bird right so all right, well, there's that. And then uh, last night, about midnight, go check on the baby lamb in the hot box there. And it's it's dead. It's, you know, all our best efforts, things that looking like it was going well. No, unfortunately didn't go well. So dead turkey, dead lamb. That sucks. Come out this morning to do morning chores, go check the turkeys again. Another dead turkey. I'm like, man, oh man, I cannot catch a break. So while I'm over there dealing with that, Carmen's going over to check the chicken tractors, make sure those meat chickens are doing okay. She sends me a text, there's a dead chicken. Holy man, like, I know they say you got dead stock, or you got livestock, you're gonna have dead stock, but that's a lot, a lot in 24 hours, you know, and that, you know, in case I, I take the side by side down, I go to the very bottom of the farm, where, you know, that's where the carcasses go, and you know that should be a rare occasion it shouldn't be a it shouldn't be a you know i'm dropping off you know multiple animals at once and i don't know what it is we've taken we've taken incredible losses this year very high mortality rate on the lambs you know the weather hasn't cooperated the mothers just haven't been you know they haven't had that instinct um and just just dopey right they dopey lambs i don't know why it is um, and then the chickens too, same thing. Like just even some of our laying hens, you just come in one day and there's just a dead chicken laying there, right? No rhyme or reason. You just come in there. It's just, it's just dead, right? And it's not for any lack of effort, right? We take great pride in the, you know, the work we do here on the farm to make sure everybody's cared for. They have all the feed, they have all the water, they have all the creature comforts that they could possibly, you know, ever want. They're taken care of very, very well. And sometimes things just aren't well just like today things just aren't working out and it just it's just it just crushes you right and you think well what did i do 
How did I fail these animals? Is it something I'm doing? Is there something I'm not aware of? Is there like education gap there? What am I missing? And I, yeah, I don't know. I don't, it's, just, it's just really, really, you know, for all the pride that we, we take in this, this just, bam, just like a, a big, you know, block of humility just comes down and just crushes you, right? And it's, there's always two types of people, those that are humble and those that are about to be. And today I can definitely say that I am humbled. Anyways, the show must go on. You know what? I can't I can't wallow in my self-pity. I owe it to the remainder of the animals that we have here on the farm to get out there, do the chores, fix the fence, take the feed, pack water, do all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to get on with here for the rest of the day. So I'll let you go for now. Man, I hope your day's going better than mine. And we'll see you tomorrow.